This is a new series called Spirituality of the Emotions, and it's going to be a parish workshop, first of all, and then a little one-credit course, and it has six sessions about spirituality of the emotions. And this is session one, introduction about emotions and spirituality. Let us begin with prayer. Dear Father God, you have created us with minds to know, wills to choose, and hearts to feel. You wish our hearts to be full of peace, trust, hope, joy, and love. Liberate us with your saving grace from uncontrolled anger, anxiety, despair, disappointment, and bitterness, those negative emotions that keep us from being your faithful disciples. The most important reason I'm working on a program on spirituality of the emotions is the response to sessions based on my book, Taming the Lion Within, Five Steps from Anger to Peace. Every week I get emails from grateful participants and readers. They appreciate an approach that combines Christian spirituality with psychological insights. Those of you who know me surely are aware that I've spent 70 years struggling with strong negative emotions, especially anger. As we proceed, I'll tell you more about these battles and the way God has helped me to improve. But first, I need to say, even though I have a PhD in philosophy and an MA in religious studies, I have no degrees whatsoever in psychology or counseling. So if you have serious problems involving emotions, I think you need to go to a counselor and a spiritual or a spiritual director or both, as I have it many times in my life. But at the same time, this series will help you with insight and spiritual exercises to bring grace into your life. Some definitions. Webster's defines emotion as a state of feeling, a conscious reaction as anger or fear, subjectively experienced as strong feeling usually directed to a specific object and typically accompanied by physiological and behavioral changes in the body. The Encyclopedia Britannica website adds joy and sadness to anger and fear as examples of emotions. The term spirituality can be widely defined as the way to God, or more specifically for Christians as an individual's obedience to the Holy Spirit in the quest for union with God. In my program, Spirituality of the Emotions, I will take you through a typical day in your life, tracking such emotions as anxiety versus trust, indifference versus friendliness, acceptance versus irritation, peace versus anger, boredom and annoyance versus serving with love, despair versus hope. Now the fact that you're listening to these recordings shows that you have a desire to change. Dietrich von Hildebrand, one of the greatest Christian philosophers and spiritual writers of the 20th century, considered that no one could become more holy without a readiness to change. As St. Paul told us, we need to beg the Holy Spirit for greater love, joy, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. That's Galatians 5:22. To be transformed, we need to struggle with negative emotions such as uncontrolled anger or trustless anxiety and despair. In his love for us and for those around us, God wants to give us the grace, that supernatural love energy, to become more peaceful and joyful. And this, as all the saints prove, can happen even while we endure the small and large crosses of life. A key factor in our growth will be getting away from irrational passions into the emotional responses that are due to the specific realities we encounter. For example, instead of feeling annoyed about a glitch in preparing a perfect meal, we need to be more grateful that we have any food to cook at all. Easy to see in such a case, but more difficult when it comes to minimizing the basic flaws of those around us in favor of gratitude for their virtues. So each of these sessions will include examples from everyday life, teachings, and then a plan devised by you for incorporating insights into your daily life, prayers, 
and questions for sharing in a group at the next meeting. Now, of course, you and most of you who are listening to this are not going to these sessions. On the other hand, you could give responses in a journal, and if you like the whole six sessions, you could do them with a group. Um, there's some suggestions for how to do that on the part, the accompanying written version of this talk. So, as responses to what I've said so far, you could tell about emotions you struggle with present or past. You could tell about means you found helpful in battling with negative emotions, such as talking to friends, seeking professional counsel, spiritual direction, prayer, any others. You could talk about what led you to try these sessions or write about that in your journal. If you're in a group, you could pray with each person in a manner acceptable to the participant, such as silence or holding hands, formal prayers most members know, or in a charismatic mode. Now, here's the thing I'm daring you to do. For a whole week, keep a list of negative emotions of any kind, even if not mentioned so far in the, our program. Write them down as they come up, only, even if they last only a short time. And this is to give you an incentive to start struggling then when you realize that maybe half your emotions in a day or more are of this negative type. So during these sessions, we're going to next time talk about moods and first encounters of the day, then frustration and irritation, conflicts, the afternoon blahs, down feelings because of tiredness, and in the evening and night, your assessment of life that could be either hopeful or despairing. So God bless you and pray for me. Amen. Okay, there we go.